Mark, what a, uh, we got a great guest today. So let's go ahead and just jump in here. What's the housing provider tip of the week? All right. Housing provider tip of the week. Right now, you know, it's mid-November. We have a lot of people, I know inside of our portfolio that we're attempting to sell. I know there's a lot of flippers right now that may not be getting the price they want or, or, or the traction they want uh, when it comes to trying to get offers that you might've been six months ago and they're considering renting. So my tip today is you, a lot of times uh, rehabbers and you're going to flip, you're flipping it and you're doing certain things that attract a, a buyer. You're not taking certain rental things into consideration. Maybe it would be door stops, or it might be uh, you're going to have to go do another couple hundred dollar kind of cleaning before a tenant moves in, or you're going to have to, uh, you know, maybe fix that garage door that you're planning on passing on to the, the, the buyer to deal with after you sold it to them. So keep it in mind, you might still have uh, a short punch list or a thousand dollars worth of things. If you're going to go from trying to sell to try to rent, and especially, you know, door stops. Like if you, if you, you just did a beautiful rehab and more likely you put a bunch of door stops and, and now you don't want that to get messed up because you probably want to sell your property in similar condition in a year or two when you think you could get the price you're looking for. So just keep those things in mind. Yeah, a- absolutely. We're actually going through that with one of the bungalows. We went through a little checklist on, okay, what has to happen if we do go down this path? The one other thing, one other thing to piggyback is if you hired an agent to do the, the listing, and you're going to rent it out yourself, you technically don't have rights to those photographs, right? So you either got to go take your own photographs, get a photographer, but one way or another, like you technically, you do not own those photographs if you had a, a listing agent who took them and paid for them. So don't, yeah. you can't just throw those up on Zillow as your rental, just as a, uh, we'll give us, I don't know if that's legal advice or just best practice advice, but. No, no, that's uh, that you're just not allowed to do that. So, uh, and a lot of times Zillow, so if you're going to take your, somebody's pictures off the internet, Zillow and, and all those other places, I, I don't know if it's an algorithm is the right word, but they will know that you've, you've copied those or right click, save those from another website. And, and they will, you, they'll either not have your listing up there or they, they won't have your pictures up there. So just kind of keep in mind, there's things uh, on the back end that will prevent you from using those, even when you think you're trying to use them. 